Michigan is one of 28 states to have an official reptile and one of four states to give that designation to the painted turtle. The painted turtle, or Chrysomys picta, is the most widespread native species of turtle in North America and can be found in the shallow waters of ponds, marshes, and streams throughout Michigan. Painted turtles are usually 4 to 10 inches long and have black or dark green shells with bright yellow and red markings. These turtles are omnivores, eating pond vegetation, as well as insects, crayfish, mollusks, and other small water animals. During the winter, painted turtles hibernate in the mud at the bottom of ponds. During hibernation, their metabolism slows and their body temperature drops to the cold temperature of the surrounding water. Painted turtles can absorb oxygen from the water through their skin, so they don't have to come up for air until spring. The idea to make the painted turtle our official reptile came from a group of students at Brandywine Elementary in Niles, Michigan. The students shared their idea with their state lawmakers and traveled to Lansing to advocate for the painted turtle in the Capitol building. Some of the kids even testified or spoke in legislative committee meetings. Thanks to the efforts of these students, the legislature formally adopted the painted turtle as the state reptile of Michigan in 1995. The state bird of Michigan is the American robin. Named by early settlers after the European robin due to its similar appearance, the American robin is found throughout all of Michigan. Unlike most Midwestern birds, the robin is known to forego southern migration and stay in Michigan all year long. Robins can be easily spotted due to their warm orange colors, and they have a bright, cheery song that is often heard in Michigan neighborhoods. Although they traditionally nest in open woodland environments, the robin has adapted very strongly to residential areas and will often be seen hopping on the ground of backyards throughout the state. They nest in trees in small enclosed spaces, building them from the inside out using twigs and grass and reinforcing it with soft mud. Robins eat mostly insects during the warmer seasons, and you'll often see them pulling worms out of the ground, using their beak to peck the soil and their strong legs to help pull them up. During the colder seasons, robin will eat berries from trees and exposed plants. In 1931, the American robin was designated as the official state bird of Michigan after an election by the Michigan Audubon Society. The robin was proclaimed by the Michigan legislature at the time as the best known and the best loved of all the birds in the state of Michigan. The robin is also the state bird of Connecticut and Wisconsin. On April 28, 1897, Michigan adopted the apple blossom as the official state flower. Joint resolution number 10 of 1897 reads, Whereas a refined sentiment seems to call for the adoption of a state flower, and whereas our blossoming apple trees add much to the beauty of our landscape and Michigan apples have gained worldwide reputation, and whereas at least one of the most fragrant and beautiful flowered species of apple, the Pyrus coronaria, is native to our state, therefore resolved by the Senate and the House of Representatives of the State of Michigan, that the apple blossom be, and the same hereby is designated and adopted the state flower of the state of Michigan. Early settlers to North America found crab apple trees growing wild, but they also brought different kinds of apple trees from Europe. Michigan's cold winters and warm summers provided a good climate for apples to grow. After the cold winter is over in early spring, apple trees develop blossoms, flowers, which if they are pollinated will grow the apples. Apple blossoms have five petals and are typically white to light pink in color. Today, there are over 7,500 different kinds of apple trees in the world. With over 14.9 million trees in commercial production, Michigan is the third largest producer of apples in the United States. Each year, we produce about 18 million bushels of apples, making the apple blossom a very common sight in Michigan and a very fitting choice for the state flower. In 1965, Michigan adopted the Petoskey Stone as the official state stone. The reason was that Petoskey Stones had been for decades a very popular souvenir for tourists who visited the northwestern Lower Peninsula shorelines. Once polished, the distinctive pattern of six-sided coral fossils emerges within the stone. As is, the stone has been used throughout history, going far back to the early Native Americans, as decorative jewelry. Of the many things unique about the Petoskey Stone is that it is both a stone and a fossil. The stone is composed of bedrock, while the fossil is made from the prehistoric Rugos coral or Hexagonaria coral that thrived in the time period when the area of the Great Lakes was a shallow saltwater sea. 
After the fossilization process was completed, the sea dried up. Many, many more years after, during the Michigan Glacier period, sheets of ice grounded up the fossilized bedrock into hundreds of billions of pebble-sized stones. The glaciers carried some of these stones hundreds of miles away to be found in states like Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. However, most of these stones are found predominantly where they were created, along the northwestern Michigan shoreline from Traverse City north to Petoskey, where the stone received its name from. Petoskey is a city named after a wealthy French Ottawa fur trader and chief of the Ottawa band of that area. Souvenirs of these stones easily fitted into your pocket are still abundantly available along these beaches. However, keep in mind, Michigan state law makes it illegal to remove more than 25 pounds of any rocks from the Great Lakes. And so, this is why Michigan celebrates its Petoskey Stone, a unique stone for a unique state. The state symbol I'd like to speak about is the state fish, which is the brook trout. The trout was originally chosen as a state fish in 1965, but in 1988, the brook trout, which is one of four species of trout, was made the official state fish. Brook trout live in Michigan lakes, rivers, and streams, which is cool and clean, fresh water. Because of this, scientists often use brook trout populations to determine how polluted a body of water is. The brook trout is part of the salmon family and can live up to seven years and they can even weigh up to 14 pounds when fully grown. The brook trout has red fins and tail. Even the belly has red dots with blue circles all around them, which is why sometimes it's known as the speckled trout. It is a very popular fish, and as a result, there are rules on how many you can catch at a time and how big they must be before you can actually keep them. The brook trout is the state fish for nine states, including New Hampshire, Michigan, Virginia, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Vermont, and West Virginia. It's native to Michigan, so it is found all over the state. On December 14, 1990, Kalkaska Series Soil was officially named State Soil of Michigan by Public Act Number 302, signed into law by former Governor James Blanchard. The work to establish an official soil for the state of Michigan was begun almost 20 years prior to this in the 1970s. Although the process of passing bills into law can often be long and arduous, one would think that selecting a state soil would have been without controversy, but debate ensued, in part due to the fact that there are between 400 to 600 unique soil series in Michigan and it took a number of years in the right legislature and governor to finally agree. The following arguments were successfully made in selecting the Kalkaska series soil. One, it is found in both the upper and lower peninsulas. Two, it has been mapped on over one million acres in Michigan. Three, it supports one of Michigan's chief industries, wood products. Four, it is one of the original soil series in the state it was first mapped in Michigan in 1927. And finally, it is beautiful, colorful soil that makes a fine display. It was also selected for its complexity and fragility. And it takes its name from the community of Kalkaska, Michigan and Kalkaska County, where large quantities of this series soil are found. So what is Kalkaska soil? Kalkaska soil is a deep, well-drained soil formed in sandy deposits left by the glaciers that once covered Michigan. Forest cover, rain and snow, and good drainage all contributed to the development of a distinct and colorful soil. The surface of Kalkaska soil is black sand or loamy sand over a light gray sandy subsurface layer with a dark reddish brown, dark brown, brown and yellowish brown sandy subsoil. 